Hey everybody, this is day eight of Commit, 30 days of yoga. Today's practice is all about twists. Yoga twists help to improve the range of motion in your spine, thereby helping to reduce back pain. They also help to improve circulation and digestion by compressing and massaging your digestive organs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to leave me a comment below and stick around to the end of the video where we break down a movement from today's practice. Begin seated in easy pose with your hands on your knees or folded in your lap. Connect to your breath. Let's move to a side bend to the right. You can place your hand or full forearm down, left arm reaches up and over. See if you can open up through the chest a little more, gazing up. To the left side, side bend. Hand or full forearm down. Reach long through the right arm. Open the chest and gaze up. Return to seated, let's twist to the right. Left hand to right knee, right hand behind you, close to the body to help you stay seated up tall as you gaze over the back shoulder. Take your time, repeating the seated twist on the left side, right hand to left knee. Release the twist, returning to center. Move to a tabletop position, knees under hips, toes pointing straight back, wrists under shoulders, fingers spread wide. Exhale, round out the back to cat pose. Inhale, dip the belly in cow pose. Continue moving through cat cow, flowing with your breath. To a flat back now, extend the right arm out to the side. Needle it under the body, coming to rest on the right shoulder and side of the head. Keep your hips square to the top of your mat. Stay here or take your left hand above your head on your mat as you open the left side chest and gaze up, deepening the twist.
Press back up to table. Extend your left arm out to the side, needle it through. Stay here or take your right hand overhead and twist open towards the sky. Return to table. Curl the toes under and move to a downward facing dog, walking out the heels if you like, or staying still. Gaze to your hands, hop or walk to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair pose, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Twist to the right, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Engage your core and step the left foot back to a lunge twist, making sure your stance is still wide and you don't have one foot right behind the other. On your next inhale, untwist, arms up in crescent lunge. Exhale, twist to the right, arms out wide at shoulder height, aiming to gaze back behind you. Inhale to crescent lunge, arms up. To triangle pose, rotate left, straightening the front leg, reach forward and bend. Open to get wide through the chest, reaching long through the top hand. Keep your legs as they are. Lower your left hand to the mat as close to the right foot as you can bring it. Then twist right, raising the right arm to a revolved triangle pose. If you're losing balance, place your left hand further from the front foot, widening your base. The goal here is to position the base hand to the outer edge of the front foot. If you need to, you can keep a slight bend in the front leg. Both hands down to either side of the front foot, bending the right knee to a runner's lunge. Plant the left palm down, raise the right arm up in a twist, gazing up. Lower the back knee, squaring your shoulders to the front and raising both arms in low lunge. Exhale, twist to the right, gazing back.
Inhale, arms up, low lunge. Exhale, lower both hands to the inner edge of the front foot in lizard pose. Hands or full forearms down. Come up to your hands. Raise the back foot up, bending the knee. Drop the right knee out to the side and twist back, reaching for the left foot with the right hand if you can. Option to stay in lizard pose instead. Release the lizard twist. Curl the back toes under and make your way back to a downward facing dog. Gaze forward, hop or walk to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to chair pose, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Chair twist to the left side, right elbow to left knee. Step the right foot back to a lunge twist, keeping your stance wide. On twist and raise the arms to crescent lunge. To a crescent twist to the left side, arms out wide. Arms up, square up to the front of your mat. To triangle pose, rotate right, reach and bend. Keep that chest open, reaching long through the top hand. Lower the hand and raise the right to a revolved triangle pose. Base hand positioned as close to the front foot as possible. To a runner's lunge. Connect the right palm down, raise the left arm, twist left. Lower the back knee and move to low lunge. On your next inhale, twist to the left.
untwist, arms up. Lower both hands to the inside edge of the front foot in lizard pose. Option to lower to your forearms. To your hands, if lowered, raise the back foot, drop the left knee, and reach back with the left hand, twisting open to the left side. Release with control and make your way to Downward Facing Dog. Gaze forward, hop or walk to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, all the way up to upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart in mountain pose. Take the time to adjust as needed. To eagle pose, take your right leg over the left as you bend the left knee. Aim to reach the right foot back and around the left calf. Place left arm over right, wrapping the forearms with the goal of placing your palms together. Keep those arms lifted, upper arms parallel to the mat, shoulder blades spread wide. To modify eagle, simply cross the legs and arms without the wrap. Release with control. Let's repeat that on the opposite side. Left leg over right. Right arm over left. Find a focal point that's not moving and breathe deeply. and release to standing. Over to the right side to a Shiva twist. This one is a challenge, so lots of focus here. Hug the right knee to chest. Reach left hand to the outer edge of the right foot. Extend the right leg forward and then reach the right arm back as you gaze over the right shoulder. If you didn't get it, that's okay. This is one that we can work toward. Release with as much control as you can. Let's try that on the other side. Left knee to chest. Right hand grasps the outer edge of the left foot. Extend the left leg forward, reach the left arm back, and gaze over that back shoulder. Release to standing and adjust as needed. Step your feet as wide as your mat, toes turned out. Let's lower to garland pose, palms together.
Place your right hand down ahead of the right toes. Twist to the left, raising the left arm up high. Gaze up, opening up through the left side chest. Return to garland, palms together. To the other side, left hand down ahead of the left toes. Twist and open to the right, gazing up. Return to garland, palms together. Move to seated with both legs extended ahead of you in staff pose. Draw the left knee in. Place the left foot over the right leg. Raise the right arm and twist left, right arm to the outer edge of the left leg in a half lord of the fish's pose. Keep the back hand close to the body to help you sit up tall. Keep a long neck as you gaze back. Release the twist and unravel. To the other side, draw the right knee in. Place the foot over the left leg. Left arm up and to the outer edge of the right leg as you twist right, gazing back. Stay long through the neck, keeping the shoulders down. Untwist and make your way to a seated wide angle position. Shift and shimmy as needed to position your hips more comfortably. Place your hands down ahead of you and lean the body forward, if you can, lowering to the forearms, trying not to force it too much. Keep the toes pointing up. To the right side, in a revolved head to knee pose, slide the right hand to the foot, shifting from the hips, flip your grip, holding on to the foot as you reach the left arm up and over in a side bend. Reach long through the left hand with the goal of eventually grabbing the foot with both hands. No matter where you are, try to open the body up towards the sky, gazing up. Sweep the arms forward, coming to a revolved head to knee pose on the opposite side. Right arm is reaching up and over toward the left foot, grabbing onto it if you can. Remember to keep the chest open as much as possible. and release. Make your way to a comfortable seated position, hands on your knees or folded in your lap as we deepen our breath to finish up.
Let's talk about our alignment in poses where we have one leg forward and one leg back. Starting from mountain pose, going back to a simple crescent lunge, if I step my right foot back, I want to make sure that I'm stepping onto the opposite bar of a train track. So keeping my feet hip distance apart, if not a little bit wider, to maintain stability as I raise my arms up. So I'm going to step it back, but keep it out, arms up. So I felt really stable there, like I had a lot of control. Now what we sometimes do is we'll step the foot back and we'll bring it directly behind that front foot, like on a tightrope. And so if I'm doing this here, then right away I'm starting to lose balance and coming up is a lot more shaky and a lot less control. So we want to be really conscious that when we are stepping back, that we're maintaining that width in our stance. So step back and out, lots of control, stable, wide base. Now going back to today's practice where we did this from a chair twist, let's say your feet are a little bit too close together in your chair. Maybe they're centered on the mat, and you might have seen me do this today. Widen your stance a little bit first, and then when I'm stepping that foot back, in this case it'll be my left foot, I want to make sure that I'm stepping it wide. Good. And then from here, really easy to come up on that wide base. The same is going to apply to a low lunge. So if we're starting from, say, a downward facing dog and stepping through, we want to make sure that, again, we're not on a tightrope, we're on train tracks. So, from down dog, my feet are hip width apart, stepping the right foot up, and if I'm too narrow here, I can widen a bit, lower the back knee, nice and easy to come up. And then again, if I step right in front and I'm on a tightrope, it's a lot more shaky to come up and you have a lot less control. So it's the same idea in many of these poses. We've talked about stepping through before and one way that you can make sure you're wide enough here is to step to the outside, then bring that hand out, lower, and lift. So next time you're feeling a little bit unsteady in these lunge positions or any pose where you have one leg forward, one leg back, Take a look at your stance and make sure that your feet are wide enough apart on the mat, not just front to back, but side to side as well, so that you have a nice wide and stable base.